On the 17th of October 2022, Nicki Minaj shared a post on her Instagram story that read, OMFG, smiley face, smiley face, winky face, three bows, Gag City. The Babs about to live in Gag City. Following this Instagram post that seemingly teased new music, many Nicki Minaj fans, also known as Babs, became excited for this cryptic new project that Nicki was alluding to in her post. When is the journey to Gag City beginning? At Nicki Minaj and some Babs were already packing their bags in preparation to visit this fabled Gag City. Also, just so we are all on the same page, Gag here means being shocked or excited about something. After Nikki coined the term and founded Gag City in 2022, Babs continued to use the term slash location in reference to Nikki and her projects, such as Barbie World, and Gag City became a commonly used term amongst Nikki fans. Now, fast forward almost a year to the 5th of September, September 2023. On Instagram, Nikki revealed the first album cover for her upcoming album, Pink Friday 2, a sequel to her 2010 album, Pink Friday. The cover depicted Nikki standing on half a train, and in the background was a pink cityscape, which some fans speculated to be this mythical gag city that Nikki had referenced back in 2022. Then, in early October 2023, some Babs began to share artwork generated by AI or artificial intelligence. It's like robots and stuff, I think, that depicted the pink futuristic metropolis Gag City alongside Nikki. And if you're not familiar with AI artwork, AI images often have a certain nauseating sheen, that's sheen, not sheen, that makes you immediately just know that the image is AI. There are also websites that can detect AI too, but looking for glossy extra fingers and distorted faces is much more fun. Amid the early conception of these Gag City AI images on the 13th of October 2023, nicknamed Pink Friday the 13th, Nikki shared a poll on Twitter asking fans to vote for which unreleased song she should release on her website as promo for Pink Friday 2. And when Nikki revealed the winning track and shared a link to it, she wrote, More surprises coming. Huge. But let's just enjoy a cute bop and meet up next hashtag Pink Friday, same time, same place. Gag City. In the weeks following this tweet, Babs began to share more AI images related to Gag City, with the focus seemingly being on the different modes of transport that were going to be taking the Babs to Gag City. And although some did opt for planes, it was clear that the preferred mode of fictional transport for Babs was the train, Nikki's impact. During this time, a few stands generated images of a desolated Gag City, as well as images that depicted the trains and planes to Gag City as having crashed before then being back en route, depending on how that particular fan felt that the album rollout was going at that particular moment in time. As the album rapidly approached its release date, fans began to make further connections between the art Nikki was sharing for Pink Friday 2 and the term Gag City, as a lot of the art included this pink cityscape, and one user even drew comparisons between Batman looking over Gotham City and Nikki looking over Gag City. Cinematic parallels. And so, the highly anticipated Gag City and the Babs ominously loomed over the internet, waiting. In early December, with hype rapidly building for Pink Friday 2 prior to its release on the 8th, Babs began to share more of these glossy fuchsia images depicting the fantastical city of Gag, and as the city would officially open in a week's time, the Babs began announcing their arrivals in Gag City. Babs board into Gag City. Chilean Babs are ready for hashtag Pink Friday 2 and have arrived at Gag City. Just closed on my secluded modern Victorian mansion on the lake. Hashtag Gag City here I come. Alongside the Babs arriving and settling down, there were AI images generated and shared depicting celebrity sightings and arrivals in Gag City. These celebrities included Abby Lee Miller, Trisha Paytas, the mother of dragons, breaker of chains, queen of the Andals, Ice Spice, Grace Randolph, Rihanna featuring the Babs Khalifa, and Lady Gaga, because you can't spell Gaga without gag. Several of these tweets gained thousands of likes, and people would comment asking how the Babs were making these images. 
is. With the AI Gag City posts becoming increasingly popular on Twitter, other fandoms such as the Katie Cats and Rihanna's Navy began porting at Gag City to show their support for Nikki and the upcoming album. As the lore of the meme expanded, Bab soon began developing the infrastructure of Gag City, announcing the opening of many different buildings and shops, including the burger franchise Onika Burger, a reference to the now Stan Twitter famous She equals Anika, eight equals burgers. This Babs led property development caused some brands, with perhaps a little too chronically online social media teams, can a social media team be too chronically online, to jump on the bandwagon and set up shop in Gag City, with companies like Chili's, Oreo, KFC, Spotify, Bing, and even the Empire State Building getting themselves involved. But what about the queen of Gag City herself, Nikki? Where was she amongst all of this? Because despite having coined the term back in October of 2022 and linking it to her new projects, I highly doubt that at the time she had anticipated that the concept of Gag City would become the viral success that it was, to the point where you effectively had big brands marketing your album for you for free. Well, Nikki and her team were quick on the Gag City wave, as on the 7th of December 2023, the day prior to the album's release, Nikki revealed the tracklist for Pink Friday 2 in a video posted to her Twitter. The video was of a pink aeroplane flying through the sky, where Nikki herself made an in-flight announcement. Gag City Airlines is ready to make its descent. Buckle up. On the same day, Nikki also turned her hand to expanding the Gag City universe by posting the official rules to Gag City. Rule number one, no being mean to other residents, but you can be mean to outside people. Rule number two, your makeup, hair, clothes and shoes all go on by one touch of a button. That's how we have the outsiders gagging all the time. Rule number three, upon landing you receive a mansion, car and canned goods. This mythos, canned goods and all, would later be reiterated by Nikki on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert as she explained the concept of Gag City to the world. A week after Pink Friday 2 was released on the 15th of December 2023, Nikki released a deluxe version of the album titled Pink Friday 2 Gag City Deluxe, which featured two additional songs and seemingly gave the Babs Stan Twitter promotional campaign the official stamp of approval. And this fan-generated marketing campaign did pay off, as on the 17th of December 2023, it was announced that Pink Friday 2 had debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 album charts, with 228,000 equivalent album sale units. But Gag City was far from over, as on the 13th of January 2024, a month after Pink Friday 2's release, Nikki released another version of the album titled Pink Friday 2 Gag City Pluto Edition, which featured an additional song titled Press Play. During the build-up to the release of this particular version of the album, Nikki herself began sharing what appeared to be several AI-generated images across her social media pages that contained a variety of pink things, all including the words Press Play, referencing the new song. Nikki had also previously shared some other images earlier in January that also appeared to have been AI-generated, seemingly confirming that Nikki was on board with the AI creations that were now synonymous with Gag City. However, after sharing these AI creations, Nikki began to receive criticism online for using AI to create artwork for the promotion of her album, instead of just hiring an artist who could create real artwork for the visuals. A couple of these tweets criticising Nikki's alleged use of AI went viral, with a tweet that simply pointed out that a hand that had been posted on Nikki's Instagram story actually had six fingers, a common indication of AI-generated artwork, and this tweet went on to gain over a hundred thousand likes. Nikki did respond to one of these viral tweets that said that using AI images in marketing sent out the message that you've got no budget, to which Nikki said, good, now hashtag press play, hashtag gag city, and shared more of what seemed to be AI created visuals. Nikki did also respond to the viral six fingers tweet, stalker things, obsession things. And despite the viral criticisms Nikki herself has received for posting AI images for the marketing of the album, it cannot be denied that the fan-made promotion of Gag City was a success and gained a lot of traction for Pink Friday 2. In my opinion, the thing that made Gag City so effective as a fan-created marketing campaign was that quite literally anyone could generate a Gag City AI artwork with little to no specialist skills being required. As with AI, you just type in words and an image is made. This is unlike other Stan Twitter marketing campaigns that we have seen, which require participants to have some 
some skills in graphic design, Photoshop, etc. if they want to get in on the trend. However, as the Gag City images were for the most part generated with free AI image generators, anyone who saw the meme could easily make their own, which caused the meme to rapidly grow and reach locals, regular people. And although the meme was effective at spreading the Gag City Pink Friday agenda, the AI elements of it did lead it to garner some negative responses for both Nikki as well as the Babs themselves, which raises the question of whether we will see the use of AI in future fan promotions organised by stands of different artists. And if so, with the scary rapid development of AI, what will these look like? And how far will these stan organised promotions be able to go? Because does anybody else keep getting advertised that weird AI Taylor Swift scam where fake Taylor claims she's giving away pots and pans to her fans? Hey y'all, it's Taylor Swift here. Due to a packaging error, we can't sell 3000 Le Creuset cookware sets. Crazy. Thanks for watching, and thanks to those who suggested the topic to me on Twitter. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one in the future.